The Los Angeles Dodgers may be the best team in the National League West, but they are not running away and hiding from the San Francisco Giants. The Giants are too good of a team, too tough-minded of a team, and their manager is too good in terms of running a bullpen over a pennant race to really fade out of the race. They could, in fact, win the division if the Dodgers don't get their act together, but the Giants have turned out to be a much better offensive team than a lot of people think. Hunter Pence continues to find that home in San Francisco that happened a couple of years ago, and the addition of Mike Morris has really given the needed power to this lineup and depth. Now, if you want to talk about any one key on this team, let me give you two, one on the offensive side and one on the pitching side. On the offensive side, it's Angel Pagan. It's amazing how much better the Giants play when Pagan is in the lineup, and amazing how poorly they play when he's hurt. Unfortunately for the Giants, he's hurt way too much. They need him healthy and on the field in the second half of the season. And in that rotation, the key for me, it's not Tim Lincecum. He's pretty inconsistent these days. I'm not sure that's going to change. It's Matt Cain. Not sure what Cain is these days, but I do know that he's a tremendous worker, likes to take the ball deep into games, and I think at his age, we know he has plenty of baseball left in him. So if Matt Cain figures things out and becomes close to the pitcher he was before and Pagan stays on the field, you're talking about a team that can win more than 90 games and either as the wild card or possibly the division champion in the NL West. So I do expect the Giants to return to postseason play.